what's up guys Tori here of love Tori beauty welcome to the next video and what has been a series of videos basically like a get ready with me but we're chopping it up we did foundation concealer we did contour palette we did eyeshadow and now I'm moving to something that I get asked about quite a bit lashes lashes definitely can make a big difference in your look um, they can transform your look make you feel glam a lot of people are using eyelash extensions now for a more permanent look those look beautiful too um, but if you just want to do kind of a one-time thing on the go eyelashes right from your local drugstore your Ulta, your sephora or direct from the brand they will definitely work out for you so first thing I like to do is apply just a little bit of mascara to my natural lashes and what that does is kind of gives uh, the false lashes a base upon which they're going to rest on. You can use any mascara you like. For this look I'm going to use the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot but just a side note the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara and the Special Unicorn Packaging is everything like it is amazing it's such a good mascara though I don't want to use it when I'm about to use false lashes because this makes your lashes stand out just on their own so I'm going to use the colossal big shot which is also a great mascara and I'm just going to use one coat of this on each eye I get one or two um, just to give a little base Next thing you do, I'm using the Ardell Mega Volume Lashes um, in number 250, if you like these. I'm going to take these out of the packaging. And lashes are not one size fits all. They're one size fits most. So first thing you want to do is peel off your first lash, hold it up to your eye, and just make sure that it's going to fit, that you don't need to cut off a little bit of the excess. So I've got my first lash here. I don't use tweezers, I just put them on by hand. And it looks like this is going to fit. Now if I were a little bit nervous, what I'd do is just take my scissors and I would just cut a little bit off the edge. Um, that way you have a nice fit. Um, and actually this is going to be going on this side because your shorter side goes on the inner corner. but. Now that's going to look just right, so we're going to leave it as is, no cutting needed. Now that I know they're going to fit, I'm going to take my duo glue. And what I do is I, I'm going to put a little bit right on the lash. So I'll show you. You're just going to squeeze that out. You can also use a Q-tip and put that on. Just a nice thin line all the way across the lash especially those ends because the ends are usually the first to lift okay so we got that on we're just going to allow that to get a little bit tacky 15 seconds and also making sure that we keep the lash shape that nice arch that the lash comes with because that's going to make it easier when you go to apply it When you think it's tacky enough, you're going to go ahead and just look slightly down. I've never done this on camera, so let's hope I get it right. <laughs> you're going to just put this right here. Right on your eye. And pull that in on each side. Push in the middle just to secure it and see those sides are stubborn. And then just fan it. Don't mind my eyebrows, that's the next video. <laughs> I know they need to be filled. Okay. We've got that on. As you can see, it looks. You can really see the difference. All right, now let's do the other side. I just used the tip of the container, but you could also use a Q tip. Okay, 
in the center and then I go back and secure the ends. And that's it. It's just that simple. And the lashes make such a big difference. Like, wow. Right? Again, this was just the Ardell Mega Volume Lashes that you can get right at the drugstore. You can totally transform your look for like three bucks. What's not to love about that? So tell me about which uh, lash brands you like to use. Of course, there's a lot more on the market. Mink lashes, more high-end, um, other lashes that are very affordable. Tell me what you like. I'd love to hear your comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And thanks for tuning in. See you in the next video where we're going to tackle these brows.